Well, what's up everybody welcome back to selenix crypto good morning and welcome back to your uh, daily bitcoin update um in this video uh, if, if you're new to this channel first of all welcome basically what we'll be doing is we're going to be doing a technical analysis on bitcoin kind of, kind of seeing what's been going on over the past 24 hours because um it's it's a daily bitcoin update i, I, I try to cover bitcoin daily kind of looking at the news too um, we have some quite quite some big news today in about uh, four hours. So I mean, it, it's it's always difficult to say because it depends on your time zone, obviously. But I would just look up my FX book um, and then look up their economic calendar at the top menu right here. I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's just what I use. Um, and there you can see that in about four hours we'll get that inflation rate of the United States, which is usually a big catalyst for the whole crypto market. Uh, so that's going to make the market move that's something we're also going to cover in this video all right so um yeah let's get right into it if we take a look at bitcoin um and some of the st statistics um it's actually like the volume is is really high 11 percent of the market cap for bitcoin um, and then you should also know that the market cap has obviously increased um you don't see that a lot uh, so that's great to see even though over the last day we've been pretty stable um you can also see that we've been stably going up right i mean we even reached volumes of 51 billion which is um in my eyes it's it's, it's crazy we had an important resistance level but first let's uh, take a look at that inflation rate the most important one in my opinion is always year on year all right inflation rate and core inflation rate and cpi too um, and basically the the, the thing to to know is a higher than expected inflation rate um, is bad for crypto lower than expected is great all right so um, first of all what i think is going to happen if there was no inflation rate at all basically what i said is from here there are basically two things that can happen and to me the most likely scenario is is that we're at now at this major resistance level between 22,600 and 22,000 uh, to me i mean it just seems like we have a lot of momentum so i think we're going to break above that and go up to 24,000. Now, obviously, if the inflation rate is actually uh, lower than expected, this is going to happen very soon. And I'll probably make another update tomorrow where, I mean, I do think we'll find resistance at around 24,000, but it could be that we just find a little bit of resistance and get up to 25,000 afterwards. Uh, because if, if the inflation rate really is lower than expected, that's great fundamentals, right? Um, however, I mean, if nothing would happen, like it's... If the inflation rate is worse than expected, if it's higher than expected, we're going to drop down. All right, we're going to drop down at least to 20,700, I think. Could be wrong about that because uh, inflation rate numbers, uh, crypto reacts to uh, very weird sometimes. Uh, for example, uh, the start of this move was actually after inflation rate numbers and the inflation rate numbers weren't great. All right, so... Um, it's weird sometimes, but um, yeah, it's it's just, it's just really going to depend. I really do think that higher inflation rate numbers than expected, at least, um, are going to send it uh, crashing down. But as I said, if nothing would happen, the market structure right now for Bitcoin is just very bullish. Uh, we have a lot of great support levels at 21,700, at 21,000, at 20,700. Like even if we would do something like this, I would still feel like we would go up a little bit later and break above 22,500 and up to 24,000. Uh, but that would be in a scenario without inflation rates and those inflation rates are going to make the price move today at least. So that's basically my, uh, my take on Bitcoin for now. If you do have any questions about the analysis or about anything I said in particular, um, Make sure to ask down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today and uh, bye.